is winning the head to head. No doubt. And that, that's outside the margin of error, which, you, as you can see at the bottom, 2.5%. Uh, By the way, these are, as you said, well, brand new. We just got them ourselves moments ago. Uh, this trends with the overall trend line uh, of Trump taking, squarely taking the lead. By the way, it's a reflection of the support for former President Trump, but also Joe Biden's job approval rating, which, according to this poll as well, has reached an all time low of 37%. Uh, Joe Biden's approval rating. You see those numbers fluctuating in the 40s when it comes to December of 2023, upper left there. Big, big drop. Too. That's a massive drop. That's got to cause a lot of consternation inside of the Obama Biden uh, political circles. What do they do with that? I mean, it's, 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 scary numbers. And by the way, this hasn't baked in these indictments that have just come out. Um, I'm sure that those have not been reflected in those polls yet. I mean, if you're Donald Trump, you're feeling pretty good right now. You're feeling even better with what's n most new in these Wall Street Journal polls. And that is hypothetical matchups with third parties included. Yes. Check this out. Uh, this includes candidates like Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and Joe Manchin, who it is rumored at least could be the candidate for a no labels party run for president. It shows Trump with an even wider margin once you start including third and fourth party candidates. Donald Trump at 37 percent, Joe Biden down to 31 percent, RFK Jr. 8 percent, Joe Manchin at 3 percent. So 14%, by the way, undecided in that poll. That's really interesting. We all wondered what would happen with a third candidate in or fourth um, and who it would pull from. Would it pull more from Donald Trump? Would it pull more from Biden? These polls saying it's going to hurt Biden more. And when you look at the issues, uh, the contrast is, is uh, staggering. So we'll run through them. Trump up 17 on the economy, up 21 on inflation, up 17 on crime. Doubles Biden on the border, up 30 points, up 10 on foreign policy as it pertains to both Ukraine and Israel. The only issue where those numbers are flipped, uh, at least these that we're looking at, is on the topic of abortion. You know, interesting, those economy and inflation. So those are the two most important, I think, items on the, on the policy agenda for American people. And you see that. I mean, go back to those numbers really quick. 50 uh, 52 versus 35, 51 versus 30. And it's interesting, when we had uh, Donald Trump on Sean Hannity's show uh, for that town hall, the one thing that came out to me um, during that interview, and it's, it's, it's one of the, it was that he was such a businessman. He seemed really genuinely upset that we were losing to China right now. Like there is a competitiveness about him and you can feel it like he just can't stand what's happening in this country. And he really wants as a businessman to win. And I, I was really impressed with the, how he kept focusing on, on, the, on the economy and the issues and, and, the, and the energy and everything that was impacting inflation. Those numbers tell you the story of our next year. Yeah. We will be